Hello, Assalamualaikum. This is a video for Science Form 1 on Chapter 6, uh, Periodic Table on Subtopic 6.2, Classification of Elements. In chapter 5, you have learned that matter is made up of tiny and discrete particles. Uh, one type of the particles is atom. Uh, so here, now this is the structure of the atom. Uh, an atom consists of three subatomic particles, uh, which are proton uh, and neutron uh, in the middle of the atom. And proton and neutron is called nucleus of the atom. Uh, and electron, another particles in atom is electron orbiting the nucleus. Uh, okay, so electron is negatively charged particles and the proton is positively charged particle, whereas neutron with no charge. Okay, so you have seen the structure of atom. This is an uh, example of oxygen atom. This is oxygen atom with 8 proton and 8 electron. Okay, so when uh, two oxygen atoms combine chemically, so it will form a molecule. Okay, a molecule consists of two or more atoms of the same element or different element that are combined chemically. Okay, so if a substance is uh, consists of one type of atom only, then the substance is called element. Uh, an element is the simplest form of a substance. It cannot be divided into two or more simpler substance. For example, here we have a can. Uh, this is uh, this can is made up of copper. So, copper is an element. Why? Because it consists of copper atoms only. All these are copper atoms. Okay. Uh, it is arranged in orderly manner because it is solid. Uh, this one is carbon. Uh, why carbon is an element? Because it made up of only carbon atoms only. Okay. And this is helium gas. Helium gas. Eh? It is made up of helium atoms only. So, all these are examples of elements. There are so many elements um, on the, uh, the earth. Uh, for example, iron, oxygen, hydrogen, aluminium and so on. Okay, when two elements uh, combine chemically, it will form a compound. A compound can be produced uh, from a chemical reaction naturally or in the laboratory. An example of compounds are uh, aluminium oxide, zinc sulfide, iron chloride, sugar water, and salt. And so a compound, since it combines chemically, so a compound can be separated chemically. A compound can be separated to its element uh, through a process of electrolysis. Okay, so this is the periodic table of elements. Uh, periodic table is a compilation of chemical elements arranged in the form of a table. Eh? So the elements are arranged in ascending order of proton number. As you can see here, here we have number one. This is proton number, eh? proton number. Okay, proton number of hydrogen is one. And then proton number two, helium, three, lithium, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so on until one hundred and eighteen. 18 elements okay and uh, here is the symbol c for carbon uh, h for hydrogen li for lithium okay so the elements are arranged in ascending order of proton number 
As you can see here in this periodic table, the element can be classified into metal, non-metals and semi-metal. Okay, the yellow one, uh, metal. Uh, metal. Okay, so all the yellow boxes are metal. Uh, so we have a lot of metal here. Uh, for example, sodium, uh, cobalt, iron, uh, zinc, copper, uh, silver. All these are metal. And then we have non-metal. For example, here, hydrogen, helium, neon, argon, uh, carbon, okay, oxygen, nitrogen, and all these, the blue boxes. And we have semi-metal, for example, uh, boron, silicon, eh? uh, germanium, okay? So, all these are elements arranged in a ta table. And this table is called periodic table, okay? And to, be e to make it easier for us to refer this periodic table, all these elements are arranged in... Uh, we call this a uh, group. Huh? The uh, vertical column is called group. Okay, so we have group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, until group 18. And this group 18 elements are called inert gases. Inert gases. Okay, so inert gases are located in group 18 and the elements are helium, neon, argon, krypton, zinc, radon and unionodium. Okay. Group 1 elements uh, consists of hydrogen here, hydrogen, lithium, uh, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. All these are elements in group 1. Eh? The vertical column is called group 1. The horizontal column, horizontal row, the horizontal row uh, in periodic table of elements is called period. So we have seven periods altogether in periodic table. Okay. So we uh, so just now uh, there are metals and non-metals in periodic table. So how do scientists identify which uh, which one is metal, which one is non-metal? Uh, it is actually based on this characteristic. Okay, so the similarities of metals and non-metals, non uh, both are elements. Eh? They uh, are located in periodic table just now. Uh, so both are elements. And the differences are uh, based on the appearance. Metals, uh, shiny, non-metal, dull, uh, ductility, the metal, ductile, non-metal, brittle. Okay, malleability, metal are malleable, non-metal, non-malleable. Tensile strength, the metal is high and the non-metal are low. It will break easily. And electrical conductivity for metals, very good. For non-metal, it's poor except for carbon. Carbon can uh, conduct electricity. Heat conductivity is good for metal and poor for non-metal. Density for metal is high, uh, non-metal low. And the melting and boiling point for metals are high and non-metal low. Okay, so uh, from this table, we know the characteristic of metal and non-metal. Okay, so here are examples of metal. We have aluminium. Uh, metal, see the characteristic of aluminium, malleable, strong and light, and the color is gray and shiny. Uh, iron, strong, malleable, magnetic substance, it attracts the magnet, a good electric conductor, and the color is gray. Uh, copper, copper, strong, rust proof, ductile, it bends easily. A good electric conductor and the color is brown. Uh, it can be used as wire. Yeah. And zinc. Uh, strong, gray in color and a good electric conductor. Non-metal. We have chlorine here. Chlorine uh, is greenish yellow gas at room temperature. Uh, it can be used as bleaching agent and it is poisonous gas. 
sulfur, yellow powder and poisonous. Carbon, uh, black, smooth, light. The only non-metal element that can conduct electricity. And as you can see here, metal uh, pencil uh, lead is made up of carbon. Okay, so that's all for today. Huh? Thank you for watching. Okay, bye.